I am Anil Kumar discussing with you solution of question number 7 page 152 on optimization. A bus service carries 10,000 people daily and the company has space to serve up to 15,000 people per day. The cost to ride the bus is $1.20. Market research shows that if the fare increases by 50 cents, 200 fewer people will ride the bus. What fare should be charged to get the maximum revenue. Now these types of questions are very common in the test papers and therefore I have uh, taken up this question from the book. Now here we are talking about revenue and you know revenue is what? Revenue in this case will be fare and the number of people right? So these are the two things. So we can say revenue is number of people traveling times the cost or the fare, right? So that is the two things. Now what we are given here is under normal conditions, there are 10,000 people traveling daily, right? So normally it is 10,000 people, that is what it is. And if the fare is $20 for them, so that is the normal cost. So that we should say is a boundary condition. So that is times 20. So that is, we can call this as R0 as the base revenue for us, right? So which is 200,000, right? So 2 and 20 times 10 is 200, so 200,000. So that is the base revenue. Now the idea is if we decrease the, if we increase the cost, then there are fewer people traveling, but there we could have more revenue. So let's figure that out. So we can write down equation when the cost is increased as number of 50 cents number of 50 cents so we'll call them n right so n is the number of 50 cents increase so whenever you increase this cost they're saying that the number of people will decrease by 200 for every 50 cent increase right so they will people normally are 10,000 so instead of 10,000 will have fewer people 200 for every increase that means minus 200 n correct and what is going to be the fare for you? It is 20 plus additional quantums of 50 cents, additional quantities of 50 cents. So 0 0.50 N's. That becomes your fare. So that is the revenue which could be generated by increasing the rent or by increasing the fare for the bus, correct? Now these kinds of questions are also there for hotels and rents and similar things, so you could apply the same strategy. Now at this stage, it is a good idea to open this up and then find the derivative and solve it further. So 20 times 10,000, so 200,000, minus 20 times so 4, three zeros, n, and then we'll do with 0.5 and so half of 10,000 is 5,000 and and half of 200 is 100 so it is 100 n square right so we get this equation which you could combine these terms and then write this as 200,000 and minus this is 4,000 plus 5,000 so it is 1,000 with positive sign and we have minus 100 n square right now derivative will give us the rate of change of revenue right so the derivative for this is a constant will be 0 plus 10, 1000 minus 200 n 200 n right now this derivative equated to 0 will give us the critical number right solving 1000 should be equals to 200 n right so we have uh, from here 200 n equals to 1000 that means n is equals to 1000 divided by 200 which is 5 so it really means we have to increase the fare by 5 times 50 so 55 times so that is what it means so with this value we get fare which may give us the maximum revenue is going to be 20 plus 0 
times 5, correct? So that is what it is, which is 2250 in dollars. So that becomes the fare, which is going to give you the maximum amount, right? So it's a good idea to calculate this value also. So let's find the revenue when n is 5, right? So 5 times 50 cents is what is increased fare, which may give you the maximum result, right? So we'll substitute 5 in this equation and calculate the value. So it is 200,000 plus 1000 N, that means 5000 minus 100 times 5 square, which is 25 times 5 square. That gives us a value which is 20 to 500, right? So it is clearly more than this, right? So to 202, 500, right? 202. So it is 202, 500, right? So 202, 500. So So the maximum revenue is actually generated from this particular condition, right? So I hope that helps. So our answer is that the fair charge should be dollar twenty-two fifty, correct? So that is how you could actually solve this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.